And Joanne joins me now with more. Joanne, iNewsource created an app that helps people find out whether they're paying more in Melarus fees than their neighbor. How does it work? Well, first of all, people at home can go to kpbs.org slash taxes. You click through. There's a lot of information there, first of all, about Melarus. You click on check my address. You put your address in the search function. I'm going to warn people right now, it's going to take some time, at least 45 seconds. We've got a lot of data in here. We're getting a lot of traffic today, so it might take a while. Be patient. But up will come this image. So first of all, there'll be a map. There'll be a, a basically a black mark that, that will represent the, the address you put in there. It'll tell you exactly what you paid. Now, just in Melarus taxes, not in your regular property taxes. You can see down here this home uh, paid $776 in Melarus. Uh, that was in 2012. It also tracks your uh, taxes that you paid in 2011, 2010. Again, doesn't include your regular property tax bill. You'll also get some information here about Melarus in general. And then you can click on any of these uh, addresses here, any of these listings, it'll tell you what your neighbors are paying. It's color coded. Uh, people who are coded in red are actually paying among the highest Melarus rates in that neighborhood. Let's talk about the Howard Jarvis Taxpayers Association, which traditionally rails against property taxes, yet they're not opposed to Melarus fees. Why is that? No, actually, I had a long conversation with the president of the association who basically said, you know, first of all, this is going to be market driven. So, in other words, if, you, if you're a developer, you build a new neighborhood and there's a high Melarus tax uh, associated with that neighborhood, maybe people won't buy your house. So first of all, they're saying the market's going to regulate this. The second thing they say is, well, we have this kind of policy in California that growth pays for growth. In other words, these are new areas, um, and if we want to expand, somebody's got to pay for that infrastructure. In the end, it ends up being the taxpayer. So now that we know how much people are paying in Melarus fees, how do people know that they're actually getting what they're paying for? Well, here's the thing. It seemed easier to basically tell you what you're paying, uh, more difficult to tell you where your money's going. Um, when these financial districts are initially formed, there is some information, uh, but in terms of tracking where all of this money is going, that's what we're working on next. Okay, Joanne Ferry, and thanks for coming on the program.